Bernard and welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well and is it your lucky day? Well we're going to look at a film called Your Lucky Day but uh, I don't know who's, who was lucky in this. There was perhaps uh, one or two of them lucky by the end of it but uh, there's a lot of blood and guts getting there. That was the problem so we're going to look at this action thriller today. Your Lucky Day please if you're new to the channel push that subscribe button. Push the bell notifications, everything film and TV, reviews like this, information, vlogs, previews, lots of different things. Great to have you on board. Join be a special special Christmas uh, quiz this year on uh, on this about Christmas films as well. So uh, that'll be out in the next uh, three or four weeks just before Christmas. So it's probably the best time to do it, isn't it? Although we've got all the Christmas songs on at work at the moment. So uh, it's going to be a long, long Christmas, that's for sure. So uh, push those buttons, guys, and you can give us a like. Much appreciated. Give us a thumbs up. Yeah, it's written and directed by a guy called Daniel Brown, and it stars Angus Cloud, Elliot Knight, Jessica Garza, Sterling Bowman, Musa Hussein, Krace, Jason Wilde, Sebastian Soltzi, Spencer Garrett, and Jason O'Mara. It was released in the US and selected cinemas on or around the 10th of November 2023. So all these scores that I'm going to give you now are a week later at 17th of November 2023. So not a vast range, but we've got some to be going on with. Rotten Tomatoes, 26 critics, so not a lot, but 88% positivity, so that's good. An average rate of 6.6 .6 out of 10, we'll take that. Metacritic, the other site we look at. Not far off, 64 out of 100, but only five critics have uh, contributed to that. That's uh, three positive and two mixed and no negative. So that's all good when you get negative. And that's it, guys. That's all the, that's all the uh, scores and critics' views I've got. So let's have a look at uh, what I'm thinking about this little film. Um, but what would you do? What would you do? If to, well, it is, it's... Uh, yes, uh, a gentleman uh, is lucky enough to win $156 million dollars. Of course, he's in a little corner shop. That's what we'd call them in the UK. Obviously, they're called uh, uh, what is it called? Twenty seven elevens in in the US or whatever. And of course, there's certain other characters in that shop at the time. Some uh, some nice, decent people, and some not so decent people. So obviously, that's where it all starts going wrong because he wins his hundred and fifty six million dollars, and someone someone wants it off him, and it continues from there. So obviously, to get a share of hundred and fifty six million dollars, well, well, almost anything you'll do, I think, uh, in this crazy it is crazy. It is a crazy thrill. Mainly, I say, mainly set in the corner shop. There's not much as a couple of other locations but generally it's all set around this uh, this store uh, don't worry too much about people doing sensible things uh, that doesn't really come into it just go with the flow just go with the flow and even though it may appear a little bit silly just enjoy the absurdity of it all as it sort of it goes, it goes from chaos to chaos really it's uh, it's a reasonably slow build but then it just gets a bit manic and it's uh, possibly bordering on mega balls rather than a, a mega ball which is what the lottery is but uh, pretty uh, bloody but good entertainment yeah very very violent in part certainly the last third of the film and i think you can enjoy it i enjoyed it in a in a simple turn your brain off sort of way and interesting ending although it was a bit again just ramps up the silliness just a little bit but an interesting ending so yeah i liked it as i say i didn't expect much uh, so i quite enjoyed it i thought it did reasonably well so i, I more or less agree with the ratings that you've seen on rotten tomatoes and uh, metacritic and the meta users etc so i'm going to go fresh on this i think it i don't think it's a rotten it's definitely fresh on rotten tomatoes metacritic yeah i'll go positive i'll make i'll make it four two for the positives against the mixed and it's a score yeah, it was watchable. I think it was very watchable in, in a throwaway turn, you know, to make sure your brain's out of gear and uh, just enjoy it for what it is. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Reasonably acted as well. Not a bad little um, little set of actors in this as well, even though, as I said, it wasn't wasn't exactly big budget, but uh, well, apart from the lottery win, of course. But, uh, yeah, uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. A pleasant surprise, shall I say. A, a pleasant... Uh, bloody surprise because there's lots of blood and gore in it as, it as the thing gets to its final chapters 
So there you go, six and a half out of ten I'm going to give this. So as I said, watchable is a six. I think this is very watchable, so I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. As I said, don't expect too too much. Uh, to you know, there's no there's no bells and whistles with this. It's just straightforward uh, yeah, greed, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Greed. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Great to hear from you. About and let me know about this or anything to do with film and TV and uh, if something needs a reply I will reply if not I might just give you a thumbs up but if you haven't done that already give, just give me a thumbs up guys much appreciated thanks for watching until we meet again that's one thing no please stay safe everyone bye for now